Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Pisces Soul Tribe, what's going on you guys? Hopefully this message finds you in good favor and that you are doing well on your journey. And if you feel you aren't, my intention is to grab a word from the divine to help you to continue to move forward on your journey. Um, Pisces Soul Tribe, I want to get into a general read for you guys, but this time it'll be different. I'm going to use three different decks just to get general messages, just to see what's going on. Because I feel like every deck gives a different vibe, a different um, feeling of different things that are happening um, right now. I'm also going to use the um, what's the T deck um, to get a general message for all of them. Um, I'm going to use the um, Illumina, Illuma, excuse me, uh, for pile one or pick a card one. I'll use um, the light workers um, for pick a um, card or pick a pile two. And then I'll end it um, off with um, the Light Seers. So the Light Seers, Light Seers Tarot deck um, for um, pick a card or pick a pile um, three. Um, so you guys, let's get into a general um, message. Spirit of the Most High, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, higher beings, gods and goddesses, messages for the Pisces collective on what's going on at this present time, what they need to know. We bind and cancel any negative attacks and we return those attacks to the sender tenfold so that we may continue to be edified, uplifted and encouraged. Spirit, guide me and protect me as I channel these messages for um, the Pisces soul tribe. All right. Um, so let's see. Um, so pick a power one. Um, this is you guys. So if you picked um, the Aluma. Um, this is for um, you guys. Um, so let's get a general message to see what's going on with you guys. Um, I will shuffle these um, a few times. Um, I'm getting a sense of something being revealed. Um, possibly an offer bringing itself to the light after you have done some work. Um, after you have moved forward um, to spaces of more peaceful, solid journeys. Um, transitioning from um, what it would be to move into a space where you're in um, total happiness. Um, definitely feeling fulfilled um, with yourself. Feeling more abundant about yourself. Um, feeling more emotionally grounded, emotionally um, solid, um, being very guided and protected at this um, very present time, having a very strong connectivity to spirit, um, to your ancestors, um, what it is you dream, um, vigorously going after what drives you, what um, motivates you, and also um, what inspires um, you. But let's see what the T has to say um, about what's going on. Um, with you guys i know most people like to get into to the tarot but this will definitely give a general message um also of what's going on um going more in depth spirit what messages do you have um so karmic friends um can't fully trust them tension um secret competition keeping your friends close and your enemies um closer so people um i feel like you're also in a space where you're unbothered okay uninterested <laughs> as I said um, <laughs> not bothered what else I'll try that again what else spirit okay um, so a grudge holder and clout hungry um, says anything, does anything, makes shit up um, dramatic. So grudge holder and clout hunger. Last one, spirit. Okay. Um, so boss daddy, um, stable, rich, business owner, CEO, um, big dick energy. <laughs> let's see what's going on. <clears throat> so let's get into the tarot. So specifically with these with these karmic friends, as I said, definitely something um, that you learned a lesson from. I feel like a lot of changes were made here because I feel like you felt like there possibly wasn't some support here. I feel like there was also things possibly being spoken about behind your back because this is, as I said, karmic friends. Um, I'm wondering what's what's the the possible competition i feel like it's possible uh, possible that you're in this space where um you are feeling and looking very abundant 
But let's see what the tarot has to say. Spirit, what messages do you have? What is karmic, friends? So the world, um, definitely cycles that have come to an end. I also feel like also this is pe these are people who are watching you possibly in some form, um, possibly um, a social media platform, uh, more so specifically um, Instagram, more over than like TikTok or anything like that. Somebody's um, emphasis is more so um, with Instagram. What's the world, the realm? So child of cups, as I said, I feel like the, these are people um, who are honestly watching you. I feel like the, the you're also in a space where you have are possibly in a space where you're you're learning about what um, dreams you would would prefer preferably um, go after. I also feel like these are people who um, are missing what you what what kind of love you brought to the table on um, what it is you offered um, some type of imaginative thinking, but it was very solid and very grounded. I also feel like you were a person who um, was growing up and you start to learn what intuition and compassion was. I feel like a lot of people are guided by what it is they believe and what they imagine over what really truly exists in the world. But somehow, in some way, what you believe and what's real, ex real to you is literally parallel to what is actually reality. What else? So the sun and the ace of wands in reverse. I feel like these are people who really don't, don't truly, truly believe um, in your passion. I feel like these are people who feel like your passion, um, your passions are a waste of time. I also feel like um, possibly because of this previous space, this is um, you honestly hiding your dreams, hiding your goals, hiding your ambitions, because this is giving, giving me more so the moon. Um, with the sun in reverse, um, things that um, are in the dark. I feel like this is also um, also possibly a time where you weren't as happy with what it is you were going after because you weren't you weren't getting some getting some support. And like I feel like the re the reason why you weren't getting that getting the support you feel like you needed from friends is because they were secretly jealous of you possibly. The fact that you were able to do something that they that they couldn't do. I've, I've said it before anybody can go out and get a job but it's not easy to easy to manifest what else ten of wands i feel like this is something that you that you put down and you you moved away from i feel like you considered it overburdened um i feel like you even examined it i feel like you're also a person who did every possible thing every avenue every variable to see if it was possible to keep these people in your life um, I feel like you wanted you you felt like that because of the longevity because of the time because of the amount of time that you have known these people um, time doesn't negate disrespect what else last one so the chariot oh excuse me the hermit um as I said um you're alone now and I, I feel like while you were alone, you started to really get the downloads that you couldn't get because you there was so much static interference, um, especially with your drive, your goal, what it is you believed in, what it is you wanted to do. Um, I feel like when the moment you got to yourself, the moment you cut things off, the moment you put things to an end, um, spirit, the divine, your spirit team, um, they you were in a space where you were, were able to be receptive because there was a clearing um something had to be cleared in order for you to get clear downloads because a lot of things wouldn't have made sense if you were still amongst these people and then also i feel like this would be a space where people will feel like they will be able to reap some reward um of where it is you are currently now or where where you currently want to go uninterested So the child of wands and the fool, um, I feel like somebody is really, truly in a space where they're where they're where their trajectory, um, where their view is somewhere else. I feel like these are also people who are watching you walk away, watching you walk away to um, planning your future. Um, I also feel like you're you're the, you're an individual, although we have the full energy here, you're not a person who is new to going down this avenue of starting over. Um, taking a leap of faith. Um, what else? So six of wands. So six of wands did flip out. Um, so the six of wands. Um, moving forward to to some type some type of success. Um, where you are at the forefront of things. 
I feel like this was a um a t- at a time you felt like you were behind everybody else. Everybody else that you know, everybody else that you were connected to. Um, there was a sense of trying to figure some things out, especially with the child of wands, trying to figure out where it is you want to go, planning, thinking about it, like really trying to figure it out. And then, like, I feel like you did have a, a, a profound epiphany where it's like I, I've started all before or I've started something. I know how to start something. And I'm, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I feel like somebody put a lot of faith into themselves. And then with the six of wands. Really fully believing that you can do it And somebody is And I feel like a lot of people are viewing this at this present time Which is why you um Are really un- uninterested with Especially with the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck I feel like somebody is moving forward To what ultimate wish fulfillment looks like for them What What They look like outside of themselves With another family um, Growing a family is significant Children What else So the number six is very significant. Um, so the six of coins and the temperance. I feel like something is just definitely divinely guided and divinely inspired here. As I said earlier, there's this very strong connectivity um, to to spirit um, at this present time. Um, someone's goal is not um, looking for love or I feel like love is a distraction right now. <clears throat> love is a distraction for somebody. Um it's a distraction not because you don't know how to love because people don't know how to receive the type of love that you have your the 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 love that you want to extend or the love that you want to give um deserves a special person deserve, deserves a special partner not just anyone can um hold that with the temperance and the six of coins something is fair something is equally balanced um something is always giving something is always taking just to keep the energy from something's flowing Something definitely is flowing. And like, I feel like somebody is definitely moving to a space where they definitely um, want to be. Um, as I said, number six is very significant. 66, um, 12 as well. And three. What else? So the five of wands and it honestly flew across the table. Um, I feel like even with the five of wands, um, excuse me, five of swords. Um, I feel like this is what's the five of swords before I speak. So the ace of coin, um, ace of coins, it's an offer. Offer to better suit you, better to ground you, um, an opportunity to put you in better spaces. I feel like uninterested is just like somebody being in a space where they're focused, um, where they're really truly going after what they want, what they seek after, and what it is they truly um want to do. What is clout, hungry, and grudge holder? Okay, so um. We have the hangman in reverse. And we have the seven of swords. I feel like somebody is really truly holding a secret. Definitely holding a secret. As I said, grudge holder. Um, someone's holding a secret and they aren't budging from what it is they think. Um, I feel like somebody is also rather positively or negatively um, using you for clout. This is someone specifically who is very strongly holding a grudge against you. I feel like this is also the type of person who will do anything, as the, as the card says, who will say anything, they will do anything, and they will make shit up. They are very dramatic. Um, and yeah, four swords. I feel like this is somebody who, who honestly heav- heavily thinks about you, and that actually flew out again. Um, this is someone who has you on their mind. Period. Um, this is someone who is consistently watching you, someone who consistently doing the things that you do. I feel like this is also somebody who uses you for to for some form of um, position status. What is this? So the Hierophant and the two of coins. This is somebody who thinks they know more than you. This is someone who thinks that they high, hold a higher position than you, um, more regard. This is also the type of person who feels like they should have top top priority, and they also are a liar. 
This is the type of person who will literally give you the bare minimum and you will give them everything, even as a friend. This is this isn't feeling like relational, like this is a strong bond, but this is also somebody who is just na just a nasty individual. Like they 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 don't care. They will do they will lie. They would they will do and say anything. Knight of Cups. Very dramatic. Dramatic. What else? This is the type of person who thinks you should come to them. Like they should, they don't have to do anything with the Ace of Swords. Somebody who thinks they know everything. But I also feel like something is about to be revealed too. Some truth with the moon. The moon is at the bottom of the deck. Um, something is hidden, but like I also feel like something is also about to be about to be revealed as well. Because at one point in time, we were in the the sun was in reverse. Okay, I feel like something is about to be made very clear. Ace of Swords. Nine of Wands. Um, I feel like somebody's really truly holding on to something. Um, I feel like this will, re will reveal itself on its own because I'm going through this and there's always something is blocking the truth. Something is blocking itself from being revealed, almost as if it won't be revealed until it is absolutely necessary, especially um, with the moon at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to leave this alone because uh, I feel like that's what it's saying. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> um, what's boss daddy? Um, stable rich business owner, CEO and um, big dick energy. What's this? Who's this boss daddy? OK, Um uh, will of fortune um something possibly um moving in your favor um possibly some form of um a good karma um something that feels balanced leo is very significant at this present time so is capricorn um i'm um, very powerful very bold um energy here um definitely um giving me emperor um energy as well um, the sun is also very significant um, at this present time. I'm also um, feeling like some, some form of male, some, 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 some type of um, communication is very um, significant or will be important um, in the incoming future. What else? Spirit, what's the wheel of fortune? So eight of wands, communication. <laughs> um, text message somebody wants to talk to you with the four of cups I feel like there's this 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 form of not necessarily discontentment I'm not boredom I feel like somebody's really truly with their emotions like really feeling like almost like four swords like really thinking meditating or like do I really want to do this um, not because it's a bad thing um, six of cups um, somebody's really truly thinking about this somebody feels like there may possibly um, be some fun connection feeling like they may even know you on a soul level eight of wands Um, so four wands, um, okay. With the justice flipping out some form, some form of truth. Somebody wants to want to really want, I feel like somebody wanted to tell you how they feel with the Knight of cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like somebody, somebody wants to tell you how they feel, um, possibly how, how they're, how they are attracted to you. Hmm. What else, spirit? Uh, with the high priestess um at the bottom of the deck. Somebody likes how um mysterious, how alluring. Somebody feels like you also hold back, but it's not a holding. But it's 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 very sexy to somebody. Somebody is very attracted um to that. Um, how you hold back. They feel like you know a whole lot, but you just don't speak up until absolutely necessary with the four swords. Somebody is very smart with how how they how they approach what they know and reveal what they know. What else? So King of Coins. Um, somebody views you also as very stable, very grounded, um, at this present time. Um, something worth fighting for is also what I'm hearing um, with the knight of coins at the bottom of the deck 
I feel like somebody's really truly considering. I feel like somebody's like really thinking about really sitting on how they want to approach you, when they want to approach you, um, with the house of God. I feel like it's it's gonna be unexpected. With the moon at the bottom of the deck, things that are hidden um, with pile one with your reading, um, things are not going to reveal themselves until they want to be revealed. Um, yeah, hidden. A lot of a lot of things um, within the scope of the incoming for you the, within the future is hidden. There's some surprise factor that needs to happen with it because like I feel like as I've, I've said in many readings, I feel like if someone knew what was coming, they, they would mess it up. They would definitely mess it up. But Pile One, that was you guys' reading. Um, hopefully a mess the message resonated with you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And you were able to take something from it that you can use. Um, Pile One, if there's anything that you need from me, you can find those details down below in the description box. As always, take care and conquer the day. Bye guys. Hey you guys, if you chose Pile Two. Um, the light workers um, tarot deck this is your reading um, hopefully this message resonate with you in some way shape form or fashion and you're able to take something from it that you can use but all right pile two pile two um, let's get into your reading I probably said pile one but you know what I mean pile two um, pile two um, let's get into your reading I'm gonna get some what's the tea um, what's the tea just to get a general for you guys and then we'll clarify and see what's going on Already I'm seeing fake smiles and seeing um, Queen Rising stepping into your power. I feel like people are hating at this present time. I feel like people really truly don't like the feeling that you are like really truly standing in your power. And the thing about it is it's not even a for the world to see kind of thing. It's just literally for you. Um, this bold of confidence, this um feeling like you are at the top of your game right now. But let's see. Spirit, what messages do we have? Okay. So drama starter. Drama starter is coming out um first. What else? So wolf in sheep's clothing. What else? Um, thief, robbed, lost, theft, um, physical or emotional. Last one. I'm so broke ass. <laughs> Yikes. What's this drama starter? So running. Um, I feel like somebody's throwing the rock then hide in their hand. Like legit throwing the rock then hide in their hand. I feel like this is also, as it says, I feel like this is somebody who starts the drama and then they walk away from it. And it just builds and builds and builds and builds. And like, I feel like this is somebody who did exactly what they wanted to do. I feel like this is also somebody, excuse my language, who is talking shit about you. They started all of it and in the muck of it and in the, the chaos of it, they got lost in it. Like somebody even like really truly forgot where the drama started from and it's not even going to click later. And then when it clicks later, it's not even going to matter. Wolf in sheep's clothing. So into you, chemistry, um, good chemistry, great vibes, positive. Somebody's lying. I feel like somebody's acting like they are into you just to see what they can get out of you. I feel like this is also somebody who would um, also be in, in some form of light where um, they would just do it just to get you in a bed. Maybe because they possibly heard word around the street that you might be be good in the bed. Thief. So shine your light um, irritates their demon. I feel like somebody is thinking that they that 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 they're dimming your light. 
I feel like this is also somebody who feel like who feels like being amongst you or being around you is um, still still in some type of shine for you from you because they feel like they're the it factor. And this could be any in any way, shape, form or fashion. It doesn't necessarily have to be popular or that you are some form of celebrity or anything like that amongst a friend group or whatever. Um, somebody is just well liked, well liked, evenly liked around everybody. You're just likable. Um, but like, I feel like somebody is like really, truly hating on that. And like, I feel like a lot, a lo- um, there's po- possibly a lot of moments where you were, let's just say having a moment or the light was on you. And then somebody like quickly interrupted it and like made it be all about them. Um, if that resonates, that's, <laughs> that's who that is. What's this broke ass? So creeping, um, once again, um, this is given very opportunistic. Um, this is also given somebody who is watching you amongst the sidelines to see how you how you upcoming, uh, possibly watching your pockets, um, interested in watching you, what you're doing. I also feel like this is possibly somebody some somebody um, was dating somebody like this, um, and you poss- maybe didn't know it, but um, long story short, you dodged the bullet. Okay, dodged the bullet, dodged the bullet, but. Um, let's see. Let's see what the light workers tarot deck has to say about this, you all. Um, the light tar- the light workers tarot deck is very telling. It 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 tells <laughs> tells the truth. Okay, it reveals it reveals the truth. Okay, but let's see what's going on here, spirit. What is it we need to see? Um, the moon at the bottom of the deck. Um. There was a lot about Pile One's reading that was that was hidden. Um, so the moon is very significant um, at this present time. But like, I feel like the moon is significant because things are starting to reveal themselves. Things that were once hidden under the moonlight are now starting to be revealed. What's drama starter and runner? Running, rather. Okay. So Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands, um, Four of Swords in reverse. So I feel like somebody's tired. I feel like somebody's tired of running. <laughs> Someone's burnt out. And like I feel like this is also somebody who was really truly strongly worried about your success. Um, success what made you happy um, and what space and what avenue you were possibly um, um, feeling abundant. And like, I feel like, why? What's the point? What would even matter? I feel like this is also the type of person who would legit do anything to like ruin an opportunity of yours and then they'll run away from it. But like, I feel like this is a person who's been doing this for so long that they're getting tired, especially with the higher fund at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is also somebody who is really truly understanding who you are as an individual, um, learning that um, we can't play those games like that. Especially with the five of cups, I feel like this is also somebody who's feeling like um, they're um, in a space where they're getting ready to lose a lot of things because they're starting mess. What else, spirit? Okay, so two. So the four of wands and um, the nine of cups. As I said, this is somebody who probably wished um, empty promises on you, um, wished that you wouldn't be as happy um, by yourself, wished that you wouldn't be um, as successful. I feel like this is also also the type of individual who will smile in your face, especially with the four wands. Uh, smile in your face, wishing that you would, would really honestly get nothing. Not really truly get what you deserve, especially with the fool at the bottom of the deck, wishing you wouldn't take some leap of faith, hoping that you did take that leap of faith, but you fell right on your ass. What else? Yeah, with the four with the four of coins. This is somebody who who would just wish that honestly you would hold back that you wouldn't that you wouldn't get anything. And if you did get it, if you did get something, it wouldn't be enough. This is also somebody who thinks they know everything, especially with the king of with the king of swords at the bottom of the deck. This is somebody who thinks they know everything. Four coins, last one. Yeah, the tower. This shit is about. This is about to come to an end. I feel like you like literally, literally the straw is about to break the camel's back. 
and you're literally about to be in a space where you're just about to just just move on but i also feel like this is gonna go adversely as well i feel like somebody somebody's about to start learning some real tough lessons because they play too much what is this wolf in sheep's clothing and into you I feel like somebody's also playing in your face about how they're attracted to you. Um, Knight of Coins. This is somebody who's slow to move. Um, somebody who's slow to do anything. Um, now, granted, this is somebody who feels like they um, they could have succession with you. But I feel like this is somebody who moves slow. This is somebody who will um, ask you to marry them. And y'all will not get married till like six years later. That's just specifically what I heard. The number that I saw. Like, I feel like this is somebody who will ask you to marry you. And... Y'all won't get married until like six years later. What else? <laughs> Four. Um, excuse me. Five of cups. Like, who wants to be in five of cups energy? I feel like this is a waste of time. This is a waste of time. And like, I feel like if somebody does stay around from, from stay around this period of time, something awful is going to happen. And that awful thing being you're not going to get married, you know, you're going to break up and you would have wasted your time, especially with the fool at the bottom of the deck starting over. <laughs> what else? Something's about to come to an end, though. So um, eight of coins. I feel like this is also somebody who says that they're working on something. That they're planning something, but there's this very strong procrastinating energy, especially with the page of uh, wands at the bottom of the deck. This is somebody who's always talking about doing something. Always working on something, and I'm not saying that it wouldn't be successful. I'm just saying what the energy is giving. Um, what else? So the sun, like somebody's working on some sense of change. Um, I feel like somebody's um, wanting to evolve, wanting to be happy. I feel like somebody's working on their happiness after after walking away from somebody. Somebody's definitely working on their happiness. What makes them happiness? What brings you joy? After walking away from somebody with the eight of cups, um, some some something that seemed routine, something you always were doing, something that was honestly boring, um, something that wasn't going anywhere. It wasn't going anywhere. Was something being stagnant, always being the same? It's not going anywhere. Um, yeah, with the nine of coins falling out. Um, Spirit, what's this sun? And then we can move on. Um, so five of swords and the will of fortune. Um, I feel like somebody really, truly, um, ruthlessly, as the card says, like really, truly went after what they wanted to go after. Quickly put something to an end. I feel like somebody had a real, real strong epiphany. Something was made very clear to somebody that something needed to end no matter what. You had to do whatever it takes. And if you had to nip it in a bud, you nipped it in a bud. But I, f I feel like after nipping it in a bud, you were able to move to a space where things be things are becoming more solid. Things are becoming more stable. Um, You are experiencing what you would possibly feel like more rainbows and um, less cloudy skies with more sun. Than those thunderstorms you always felt like you were um, in, or even like <laughs> tornadoes. Okay, <laughs> what's this thief and shine? Your light irritates demons. Their demons, rather. The hierophant. Somebody here is very strongly connected, um, very strongly um, guided. Um, I'm hearing um, priest. Um, somebody is a priest. I feel like somebody has really truly studied um, many different religions, many different esoterics. Um, I also feel like there's something very unique about you. I feel like there's um, some form of um, what you may feel is astral projection. I feel like you've also um, had had daydreams or experiences where you felt like you were watching yourself. And like, I feel like you were taking notes down as well while you were while you were watching yourself after you've come out of this vision to see if what you saw really, truly made sense to you. What else? Yeah, so five of wands. Um, somebody hates that. Um, somebody feels like it's really truly conflictual to who you say you are as an individual. Somebody also feels like they know more more than you. Um, somebody feels like they're also competition to you as well. But it's so quiet. It's so quiet. What else?
I feel like this person can't even compete um, with the seven of coins. Like, I feel like despite what this person feels, I feel like there there's this issue with, with what you what you have grown. Um, what's about to reveal itself What's really truly important to you I feel like at this present time Somebody's also very decorated um, Somebody is also possibly part of some um, service um, Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force um, Salute um, But I also feel like there's this form Something's growing here A missed conflict Something's growing And like I feel like this um, conflict is a waste of time with the three of um, swords in reverse, um, as well as um, the six of, of um, coins, there seems to be um, something that really, truly wasn't fair. What wasn't what wasn't balanced. And like, I feel like with you um, going through this three of swords with the six of um, coins in reverse energy, there's this form of healing. What, what healing? What was broken? I feel like somebody's somebody has reconnected themselves to spirit, which is why all of this is showing up. Hence the higher font. I feel like somebody really, truly reconnected to spirit in a different way, um, took bits and pieces of what grounded you before, but expanded on that knowledge, especially with the moon. Things that were um, illusions or things that were hidden to you are no longer hidden to you. I'm getting very strong high priestess here as well. Very strong high priestess. Um, what else? What else, spirit? Last one. Yeah, what the? Yeah, okay, that's a lot. Um, um, seven of swords, ace of cups, and the four of cups wanted to reveal itself. As I said, something really truly is wanting to reveal itself. Some secret. What else? Okay, so ace of cups. Um, working your way, work, working your way to some form of em emotional readiness, some form of emotional maturity. Um, offers that better suit you That reflect more so to who you are As a more emotive individual I feel like there was um, a lot of conflict And spaces that you really truly were involved in And like I feel like it had uh, um, it didn't have anything to do with you I feel like unfortunately um, There were some very karmic bonds I feel like you, you were a lot of people's karmic lessons You weren't karma um, in itself But a lot of people had to learn a lot from you um, How to treat other people But it was like lessons for them That had nothing to do with you um, But um, having you in their life um, Move them to spaces Where they're able to better treat people now I feel like there's this very so Strong sense of remorse um, Of how you were treated Something wasn't fair to you But like I feel like now you're in a space where you Have moved forward to new offers As I said new things that better suit you Better drive you And just honestly um, Emotionally maturing and forgiveness Is very significant as well What's this broke ass and creeping? <clears throat> so the devil. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier, um, definitely given opportunistic energy. Um, this is giving a manipulator. Is given every king in reverse, and it's also given the emperor in reverse. This is the type of person who would drain you dry. Um, this is also um, a codependent um, energy I'm feeling um, as well. Emperor at the bottom of the deck. This is a false emperor. Um, I feel like this person has a lack of regard. I feel like this is also the type of person who puts themselves in these type of um, circumstances. I feel like this is also the type of person who feels like they are the type of individual who can go to the casino, get lucky. They will spend everything. They will risk everything that they have in order to get something more. What else? Um, Queen of Cups. They will drain you dry. Somebody will drain you dry. Um, somebody is um abundant. Um, and somebody is really truly. Uh, you better dig. Somebody might be attached to somebody who's like really truly using them, but they're using mask and mask and illusions. This is somebody who's very skilled at what they do and they plan on your emotions. Is what I'm feeling. Um, so yeah, that's um a sidebar. But what else is this? Yep. Ten of Swords and the Nine of Coins. As I said, 
um, it's revealing itself anyway. This is somebody who will literally drain you dry because they feel like you you got it. Queen of Coins and the Nine of Coins. This ain't this individual because they broke. <laughs> they don't have any money. <laughs> like they're broke. They're broke. <laughs> what else? Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords, you guys. We're going in order here. Ten to nine, like um, the number nine is very significant here. Eighteen as well. This is somebody who you could have been dealing with for nine months or even a little over two years. Um, Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So there's some sense of truth that is possibly about to come out that's about to reveal itself. Last one, Spirit. Five of Coins. Um, they want you to be in financial ruin. Some, if somebody continues to be in some type of toxic relationship with somebody that they don't even know that they're in it with, because they're they're not being aware. Somebody's intuition is knock, 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 knocking. But somebody, for the sake of not being alone, is willing to risk it all. But you don't know what the all is. The all literally is all. Okay. And Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck still. <laughs> mm. Yeah, somebody wants you stuck. What else? Yeah, Six of Swords in reverse. Somebody's reluctant to change. Somebody doesn't want to change. Ten of Coins. Somebody doesn't want to change and you're risking it all. Somebody is risking it all and you don't even know it. With the Empress flipping out. You're risking it all. You're risking it all. What else? Last one. Seven of Swords. You're in some form of deceit. Somebody is somebody is masking something. Somebody is hiding something. Something does not want to reveal itself. And somebody might be pregnant too. Very much so pregnant. Somebody's pregnant. Somebody's about to find out that they're pregnant. Well, you guys, that was the reading. <laughs> Sorry to end it that way, but that's the way it came out. Hopefully this message has resonated with you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and you were able to take something from it that you can use. Um, Pisces Soul Tribe, if you need anything that um, from me, you can find those details down below in the description box. <laughs> As always, Pisces Soul Tribe, conquer the day. Bye, guys. Hey, you guys. What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. So, pile three. Um, I got you guys going now. So, we're going to use some of the What's the Tea deck. And we're going to get going. So if you chose the Light Seers um, Tarot deck, this message is um, for you. Um, I'm going to use, like, as I said, I'm going to use the What's the Tea deck just to get some general information on what's going on. Possibly um, catch a vibe to see what's hidden. And then we'll take it from there. I feel like um, somebody moved away from just a lot of people who really, truly um, no longer held any weight. I feel like um, the energy amongst these people um, always became the same. Um, nothing nothing became different. Um, different. I feel like these are also the type of um, individuals who are now desperate to be in your energy, um, to be um, in your space. I feel like these are the people who are making all types or any kind of moves just to see what's going on with you spirit what messages do you have from what's the tea um so bad reputation i feel like somebody here is a rebel um i feel like somebody i'm getting definite um for some reason i'm getting um british vibes um i'm um, at this present time somebody likes joss stone i'm hearing also um amy amy winehouse what else? So happiness, hater, and um, creeping um, came out um, together. 
I feel like somebody may possibly have moved on to a different relationship. I feel like somebody um is like really truly happy um at this present time. But I also feel like somebody on the sideline is watching just to see um if it if it can come to an end. Um possibly see if they can make a move on you again. I'm um, feeling like um possibly trying to see if you're still vulnerable or seeing if the bond that you really truly have with this other person um is, is as strong as you are presenting it to be. What else? So, um, obsessive lover, um, dangerous, toxic, um, health, unhealthy, possessive, and uh, um, karmic. There's a lot of past energy, um, that is happening, um, at this present time because I feel like there's a clearing. As I said, um, in other readings, there's a clearing, um, that has been happening of of a lot of true energies, and I mean clearing because you are moving to the space where you really truly don't give a damn anymore. Um, I feel like this threatens a lot of people. I feel like this worries a lot of people, um, as well. I also feel like this, um, may possibly um cripple people people into a state where they feel like they won't find anybody else like you what else so um inside scoop um a closer look nosy up in your business as i said somebody's really truly watching you at this present time um i also feel like there's this um sense and form of rejection um that's also happening um somebody feeling real rejected feeling like things really truly um possibly felt like feeling um immaturely ended but like i feel like something's been going on for a very long time and i also feel like somebody finally gave something up they surrendered and they gave it up and they gave it away and like i feel like with the giving it away you really truly became a more focused individual on what it is you wanted to see happen for yourself versus putting all your beliefs and um your faith in um into and um into other people what is this bad reputation spirit what message do you have for us so um two of wands um i feel like this is somebody who who really truly plans on plans on like making moves plans on possibly lying um spreading a rumor is what i'm also feeling with the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck um this is somebody who's lying um, this is somebody who honestly planned on doing it. As I said, they planned on doing it. Um, and feel like, and honestly, this is definitely giving three of wands, four of pentacles. Somebody's acting like they're not doing anything. What else? I feel like you also don't give a damn. Um, with the eight of wands, I feel like an, an incoming message is about to, um possibly uh, possibly about to come in and reveal who this um individual is. Um, especially with the knight of wands, um, I feel like this is also somebody who really truly feels like you are um uh, are attractive. But like, I also feel like this is also somebody who who is a friend who all who also would um excuse my language who want to fuck on you too. And like, I feel like this is the reason why they're spreading this bad news. I feel like somebody's also somebody also heard something and somebody wants to get send you a message about what they've heard. And like, I feel like it might be the fact that you a hoe. I excuse my language. Um, whether you whether that's true or not, that's that's the rumor. Um, what else? What is this um, message? With the six of um six of swords, as I, I feel like somebody don't really don't give a damn. I feel like somebody's also the message is that you moved on, as well moved on to you know, knight of wands you know, do other things, uh, explore other spaces is um what I'm hearing. <laughs> somebody's also possibly saying that you get around, as well with the six of swords. <laughs> what else? Um, king, uh, king of, um, king of swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody, somebody feels like you're manipulating. Somebody, somebody's calling you a manipulator as well. Somebody feels like you say you do anything to get people in the bed as well. Is what I'm hearing, especially with the Knight of Wands and then the Emperor falling out, and the Queen of Wands too. Yeah, somebody is saying that you loose, <laughs> that you out here. <laughs> in the world <laughs> what else somebody's lying it's mad lie with the chariot bro somebody's saying y'all get around pisces somebody is saying you get around baby with the fool at the bottom of the deck um somebody's calling you a home and um honestly that's pretty aggressive
But yeah, that's what they're saying. They're saying that somebody's saying that you get around. Okay. Spirit, what is this um, creeping and happiness hater? <laughs> so two. Um, yeah. So um, nine of cups and the six of wands. Um, somebody is speaking up about how honestly, how se um, how attractive and how sexy and how vibrant you are feeling, how you are having success, honestly, with dating, um, with with being to yourself. Somebody is also feeling like this brings you some other form of happiness, um, some form of bliss. Somebody also feels like you're very excited about this. But somebody, as I said, somebody's watching all of this from the forefront. Like somebody is just watching how you're developing, how you are growing, how you are so much more happier. What else? I almost feel like you're getting what you deserve, uh, especially with the tower. Some needed transition, um, something that was unexpected. Somebody was somebody wasn't expecting to see you blossom and grow like this, especially with the seven of wands. Somebody also wasn't ex um, wasn't expected to be blocked. Somebody thought they were going to also be a part of something, which is why they're watching from a distance, which is why they're hating. Somebody thought that they were going to be a part of some life that you that that you probably didn't even know that you were going to grow and build. There's a lot of unexpected things happening, unexpected happiness with the Ten of Cups at the bottom um, of the deck. I feel like things are lining up how they're supposed to line up now with the sun at the bottom of the deck. I feel like things are just lining up where they're supposed to line up concerning you. And like, I just feel like this is just you being being made aware that there is somebody who's hating in the, in the dark. I feel like this is also somebody who watches your Instagram. Um, They watch your that watch any other form of pl um, platforms that you're on as well. Socially. What else? The sun came out anyway. So um, something just, excuse me, confirmation, um, something that's really fulfilling, something that's going to bring you a lot of true joy, happiness um, is really going to just put you in a space where you're taking a leap of faith, where things are all brand new to you, um, where you are starting over, but you're starting over with a more aware mind, especially with the sun. The sun is very significant at this present time. I feel like someone's perspective is also changing. Someone's perspective about how they view happiness, how they want happiness to look. I also feel like somebody's um, happiness is also um, adverse or alternative, um, be it um, LGBTQ, um, IA+. Same-sex marriages um, are significant at this present time as well. Last one. What else, Spirit? Make it clear, Spirit. What else? Make it clear. Um, two of Pentacles. Um, this is a sense of change is what I'm feeling with the Two of Pentacles. Um, not really a sense of being ju juggled. I feel like somebody who somebody somebody really truly understands what transition and what changes are. I also feel like what changes and transitions um, that have been needed to be made have been made clear um, as well. Someone knows that they need to change and someone's making the necessary changes in order to see um, what it is with the Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. And that change might be blocking someone and removing someone out of your life. Obsessive love obsessive lover spirit what is obsessive lover um the high priestess um something that is um hidden um at this present time um something that is also known by you i feel like a download um is possibly coming i feel like someone knows that they're dealing with an obsessive lover um as well i also feel like this is someone who feels like um what their what their intention is is hidden I feel like somebody has hidden intention while you have um, hidden intuition. Um, I feel like things are going in opposite directions, which which is another thing that that's making this toxic. I also feel like this is somebody who feels like they're thriving on what it is you it, it what it is you feel like you know. I feel like this is somebody who is a spiritual abuser as well. What else? That's a lot. This is somebody who also wants to keep you trapped. Feeling like you'll always come back to them is what I'm hearing as well. Especially with the um five of swords um in reverse. Somebody somebody wanted to keep you in a state of confusion. Um somebody wanted you to feel like what you intuitively knew, um know those nudges, um what you what you were figuring out about them. Um they wanted you to make them feel like that was a lie. 
Um, somebody wanted to continue to keep you in a state of confusion, and somebody also wanted to keep you um, where you keep you in a state where you where you were being manipulated. Um, the three of wands is still here at the bottom of the deck. As I said, this is somebody um, who feels like you will always come back to them, um, no matter what. Despite what kind of people they were dealing with, what kind of third parties they were involved with, somebody felt like they can do anything to you, anything to you and with you, and they did not care. Uh, Spirit, what else? What other messages do we have here? Seven of Wands, this is somebody you blocked. Somebody is blocked out of your energy, out of your field. I feel like somebody is also has has cleansed themselves. Um, I feel like somebody has gone gone through those transitional changes to make sure they put themselves um at the for forefront, make sure that they were guarded, make sure that they were protected. No matter what anyone or anything that somebody does, they can't get through. I feel like somebody's also in a state where they are very focused and very unbothered. Which is why this doesn't matter. Somebody grew into their power, which also made them become unbothered as well. I also feel like somebody knows not to mess with you anymore as well. What else? Somebody is very guarded and protected by the divine at this present time. To a source, somebody made a decision. Somebody made a decision to block somebody off, to block them out of their energy, to get them out of the way is also what I'm hearing and feeling. What else? What else, Spirit? Yeah, Page of Cups. So I feel like somebody just knew that they made didn't did no longer needed to be here. I feel like there's some sense of um inner child an inner child healing as well. But I also feel like there's a sense with the two of swords to the page of cups. This is somebody who's going out there, some sense of dream. Um, maybe some type of wish fulfillment. I feel like um daydreaming and downloads or daydreaming and some type of fo some form of intuition um is very significant at this present time. Um, I also hear somebody saying, I'll get back with you when pigs fly. Okay. <laughs> I'll get back with you when pigs fly, because it ain't happening. Okay. Inside scoop. What is the inside scoop spirit? Eight of swords. Somebody's obsessive here. Um, and honestly, your business has somebody in the chokehold. Honestly, um, somebody. It just really strong. I don't know why. Um, eight of swords. What is this? Eight of swords. Why? So death and the rebirth, um, some sense of change, some sense of ending. I feel like somebody is really, truly trying to figure out why things ended um, with you guys. With the two of cups, some type of um, friendship, partnership, some some form of relationship that was supposed to mean a lot. Somebody's wondering why it ended. What else? Ten of Swords. Somebody's wondering why why something came to an end, like really ended. Um, you no longer give to this person the way you gave to them as well. Um, be it anything, no form of communication, no form of contact, no anything. Like something really truly just legit came to an end, and like I feel like somebody's in a state of confusion about this. This really truly has somebody in a chokehold. What else? Um, Knight of Cups, like offers have ended. Um, somebody feels like you're no longer attracted to them. Um, that you don't want to give give to them. That you don't want to give them anything. That that nothing is happening. That they that they somebody doesn't feel attractive about you. Somebody doesn't feel like you want to give them anything. With the Emperor, somebody really truly see you standing in your power. Standing on, standing on your guard um, Somebody really truly views you as very attractive um, A go-getter Somebody who's about their business Somebody also views you as very very strongly connected To the divine as well um, Very guided And normally I don't get that with the emperor energy But I'm feeling a very strong sense of, of connection to spirit um, With the emperor I feel like somebody's more so sitting like emperor hierophant Is also what I'm hearing Somebody who really truly knows how to lead guide Somebody who's in the forefront What's this emperor? The hermit. You stand that as alone. You don't want to be bothered. Pisces, you don't want to be bothered. Um, you feel like there's so much more that you can get by yourself. Um, so much more with the four of um coins. 
four of pentacles that you're you're holding back there's a sense of just needing to be by yourself wanting um to be by yourself yes we all want love please don't bother me about oh why i always gotta wait i don't know um ask god i don't know um, but I feel like somebody is has made the strong decision to work on themselves by themselves so that they can be prepared to be in a relationship to love other people. There's a sense of loving yourself first before you can love anybody else. Somebody's holding back for themselves. Hermit, last one, spirit. What is a hermit? The Knight of Swords. Somebody's moving quickly, <laughs> quickly away to being by themselves, quickly being invested in themselves, strategizing, planning, um, making moves, holding back. There's a sense of running away to what's more important, running away to things that that are more fulfilling, things that have more passion, that have more drive, that there's more success. And somebody feels like there's more success by themselves with than with somebody else. Um, that was the read you guys um, Hopefully this message resonated with you In some way shape form or fashion And you would take able, you were able to take something from it That you can use um, Pisces Soul Tribe if there's anything you need from me You can find those details down below in the description box And as always Pisces Soul Tribe Remember to conquer this day Bye guys